hosting the ESPYs, the world's largest gathering of people wearing sunglasses indoors. <laughs> you know who you are. We're here tonight at the beautiful Nokia Theater in downtown Los Angeles to celebrate another amazing year in sports. So many great stories, inspiring victories, record-shattering performances. I want to thank you for letting me be a part of this celebration. I'm thrilled. This is the 20th anniversary of the ESPYs. 20 years, two decades. That means, that means that when the very first ESPYs aired, Ray Allen was only 35 years old. <laughs> you still look good. I owe my success to the AMC series Mad Men. Uh, thank you. Uh, I, play, uh, I play a troubled advertising executive, so pretty much like everyone else here, I thank God every day for advertising. Um, but I am a lifelong sports fan. I have the deepest admiration for athletes. Uh, but honestly, I, I still think it's, it's better to be an actor. Uh, for, example, um, for example, Chris Bosch was, was recently fined $5,000 for flopping. Uh, meanwhile, recently, Johnny Depp just got paid $20 million for flopping. So, I mean... It's just better. Uh, but it's great to be here in L.A., uh, although not everyone feels that way. Dwight Howard recently announced he was leaving the Lakers to play. You guys heard. Uh, leaving the Lakers to play for the Houston Rockets, which is, you know, he's leaving L.A. So um, I guess it looks like he finally found a way to help the Lakers win. Uh, but, but come on, this is L.A. We thought, we thought it would be nice to honor Dwight Howard by taking a look at his greatest moments as a Laker. So let's, let's run that. <laughs> Not only that, but uh, Meta World Peace is leaving L.A., uh, going to New York. Uh, I'm a little surprised at that. I thought if uh, Meta went anywhere, it would be right back to his home planet. <laughs> uh, and congratulations to the U.S. Olympic team for their absolutely dominant... <laughs> dominant... performance at the London Games. Women's gymnastics team, gold. Women's soccer team, gold. Men's basketball team, gold. The U.S. team was absolutely the story of the Games, winning 104 total medals. Uh, other countries did well, too. Uh, Russia took home 82 medals. Uh, they only won 77, but they took home 82. Uh, Michael Phelps won four more gold medals, bringing his total to 16. and setting the all-time record for most gold jewelry owned by a non-Italian. Uh, it was an amazing Olympics. Uh, Usain Bolt proved that he is the fastest man on land. Michael Phelps proves that he is the fastest man in the water. And Ryan Lochte proved that he is not the sharpest knife in the drawer. He's adorable. Lochte won five medals in London, and only two of them were damaged when he tried to find out if there was chocolate inside. <laughs> Congratulations to the NBA champions, the Miami Heat. The Heat won their second championship in a row this year, thanks in large part to their coach, Bruno Mars. Love your work. I really do. Uh, are there any are there any Miami Heat fans here, or did they leave already? Is that why, is that why Bosch isn't here? Is he chasing them down? Uh, I mean, the NBA Finals had absolutely everything: clutch shooting, edge of your seat games, ev and every single stage of male pattern baldness. It was a clinic, an absolute clinic. 
I mean, it's, it's, it's not all bad for the Spurs, though. Um, uh, Manu Ginobili is going to take some time off and do some traveling. Uh, I'm not sure if he'll get called for it, but he's going <laughs> to do it anyway. <laughs> Congratulations to the Baltimore Ravens, who defeated the San Francisco 49ers to win the Super Bowl. This year's Super Bowl was a return to football the way it used to be played, without electricity. It was great to see Ray Lewis go out on top with a Super Bowl win in his final season. Very emotional win. Congratulations, sir. Very emotional win for Lewis. Very emotional win. It was emotional halftime. It was an emotional drive to the stadium. Emotional breakfast. It was it's an emotional guy. I mean, that's kind of what I'm saying. San Francisco Giants are your World Series champions. Stay classy, L.A. <laughs> they swept the Detroit Tigers in four games. Now, I've been to Detroit. Frankly, it's about time somebody swept that place. <laughs> uh, in other baseball news, uh, there are rumors that Major League Baseball is going to suspend A-Rod after the All-Star break. Uh, but that's, honestly, that's okay. Uh, Yankee fans are used to him not showing up for the second half of the season. Lots of amazing stories this year. Heisman Trophy winner Johnny Manziel is here tonight. Johnny's been catching a little heat for his partying lately, though frankly if I met a guy whose name was Johnny Football, it would be weird if he wasn't holding a beer. <laughs> uh, congratulations to Alabama, who beat Notre Dame to win the BCS championship. Although, honestly, I've always been a little wary of the BCS system. I just feel like you can't completely trust something just because a computer says it. Manti Teo. <laughs> I mean, I, mean I, I feel bad for Teo, but let's face it. Fake internet girlfriend or real girlfriend who goes to Notre Dame? Pretty much the same amount of sex. I'm just throwing it out there. Uh, but I'd like to say one thing uh, before we start the show. Uh, Television drama is where I make a living. I work day in, day out, trying to create interesting characters, storylines. I mean, it's tricky, and we don't always succeed. And I'm amazed that you guys do that stuff all the time. And every day, you hit us with something new. A last-minute 70-yard touchdown pass to put the Baltimore Ravens in the AFC title game. The Boston Bruins rallying from three goals down to beat the Toronto Maple Leafs in Game 7. Then, the Chicago Blackhawks scored two goals in 17 seconds to win the Stanley Cup. Those are unbelievable plot twists that TV shows could never get away with. And you guys do them all season long. You constantly introduce new cast members, Andrew Luck, Yasiel Puig, Mike Trout. Kill off characters and then just bring them back like nothing ever happened. Adrian Peterson, Peyton Manning, Mariano Rivera. We can't pull that off. Missy Franklin wins four gold medals, breaks world's records.